Sunshine down in Victoria Rockport for most of the week. Houston finally drying out yesterday. Beaumont, Port Arthur, Port Arthur also drying out today as Harvey continues to move to the northeast through the deep south. It's really Mississippi, Arkansas, Tennessee that's going to get heavy rain for today. As we look, though, way out here in the Atlantic, we have another tropical storm, now hurricane that has developed. In fact, just in the past couple of hours, we now have Hurricane Irma. That's way out here spinning closer to Africa than it is North America. You can see maximum sustained winds at 100 miles an hour with this storm right now. And it is moving off to the west at around 10 miles an hour. And the latest track does bring this in toward the Lesser Antilles and the Eastern Caribbean by early next week as a major hurricane. In fact, the category four is the official forecast. Now, this is the five day forecast. The National Hurricane Center does not have a forecast beyond this right now. But a lot of our computer models are indicating uh, really a spread here. Some of them taking this storm all the way into the Caribbean, and then we would have to see how that might affect the United States or Mexico, but that would not be until the end of next week. Some computer models take it right over the Caribbean and parts of Jamaica, Puerto Rico, and Cuba, and then other computer models recurve this back out and at least threaten the east coast of the United States or curve it away altogether. If there's any good news I can tell you about the location of this storm, Way out here where it is, it's that that only 10 to 15 percent of tropical storms or hurricanes that form where Irma is right now actually hit the United States. That's a low percentage, but of course it only takes one. We'll be watching Irma very carefully, but that won't be until the end of next week at the earliest. Here's a look at the sunshine that we have. Another nice day for us. Temperatures in the lower 80s in Denton, Flower Mound, Louisville, and Argyle. And temperatures today should top out near 90, which is still below normal for this time of year because. We're on the west side of Harvey. We still have that breeze out of the north, which feels really nice, up to 20 miles per hour. The breeze goes away tomorrow and Saturday, and we start heating back up. We'll be in the lower to mid 90s to start the weekend with no rain in the forecast for a while. And we're ending summer today, meteorological summer, the last day of August. 16.8 inches of rain at DFW makes this the sixth wettest summer on record, running a big surplus for the summer and running a big surplus as well for the entire year. Our next big weather change here in North Texas will arrive with a cold front on Tuesday. And then behind that front, much, much cooler air filters in by the middle and end of next week. So you see the temperatures today not bad, 90, 91 tomorrow. It will be a bit hotter for Labor Day weekend in the mid-90s with very small rain chances. Best chance of rain in the next seven days is Tuesday. And then Wednesday, Russ, we're in the mid-80s. And I think lows in the 50s and 60s by Thursday of next week. Wow, that's quite